Brothers and sisters, it's me again, and uh, I'm excited to bring you a new message, something that is important, and I believe that everyone should hear, you know, um, the importance of joining a ministry, a ministry where you believe that um, is led by the Holy Ghost, so that you can glorify God and worship and praise together, and also to study. There's just so many good reasons to, to join a good ministry. And I want to tell you about one in particular, which I discovered three months after I started my walk with Christ. Amen. And um, I started watching the videos uh, on his YouTube channel. And um, I went to the, the website and I hit him up with an email. And ever since then, I've been um, really involved and uh, learning a lot. And it's been a great blessing to me. So the ministry is called GhettoGospel.com want to hit them up with an email get on their website and um, like I said again it's been a great uh, blessing to me and um, yeah just go go on the on the website they got a YouTube channel as well so go ahead and you, you can try searching um, the ghetto gospel ministry and you should see a little white icon with red lettering on it and uh, they got these uh, amazing sermons uh, word on the streets, uh, brother work. He's a very, very gifted man of God, and lioness also, and all the other saints that are in the background, uh, you know, um, doing all the uh, all the uh, other works of God that help keep this ministry going strong, you know, and saving more souls and and uh, preaching the word of God. Amen. So um, I I highly encourage you to go onto the website once again. It's the ghetto ghettogospel.com and the YouTube channel and um, send an, em an email get to know the ministry the number one thing is Jesus Christ you know um, and uh, we need to be with each other to to uh, to praise and to worship and uh, you can uh, you can find that on Psalms 34 verse 3 you can look it up on your time uh, also, uh, we find uh, accountability when we join a ministry. Sometimes, sometimes we might need to be corrected, and other times we can rejoice in each other's victories in our own lives with others. Uh, Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17 speaks a little on that. Also, to gain opportunities to serve Christ, you can look up Ephesians chapter 6, verse 7, and also to make disciples. To learn to feed not to just be fed you know amen that's uh hebrews 5 12 you can look that up on your own time and uh, again i highly encourage that you go ahead and look look them up uh, watch their videos they got some good uh sermons and this is a ministry that is growing and uh, we're really looking for more people to join the good fight to commit and uh, to praise God over everything else. Amen. So God bless everybody. And um, I wish you many blessings as we fight the good fight. Because as you know, um, a lot of things are going down in the world. And uh, I don't want to see people staying stuck, you know, in the mud, in the wilderness, you know. Uh, you know, so let's, let's get going. Let's, let's encourage each other. Let's stick together. And uh, I hope to hear from you all soon. Amen. Love you all. And Jesus loves you. Hey, everyone. God bless. And uh, I just want to give you a, uh, a testimony on my life. First off, I want to say uh, thank you to Lord Jesus Christ who has given me the strength to to come out with this testimony and I believe that testimonies are powerful tools that we can use as Christians to help each other to find Christ and to be saved, to live a better life the way I have found Jesus to be a blessing in my life. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Jesus. So I ask, Father God, please help me as I send this message out, that it may touch the hearts of whoever gets it. 
We give you all of the honor and all of the glory, Father God. And I ask you that there were your words that come out of my mouth and not my own, Lord. For you know the, the blessings that you have given me in my life when I thought I was lost, when I didn't have nothing. You were the one that rescued me from the wilderness, Lord. And I want to do this in your honor, to give you glory, Lord. Because without you, I don't know where I would be. Amen. So, uh, well, my name is uh, Jose Rivera, and uh, I just want to say that, uh, man, I've, yeah, I've overcome a lot of obstacles in my life. But by far, the one that I overcame was drug addiction and alcohol. And every day I ask God to give me the strength to continue this, this walk with Him. Uh, I started drinking when I was 12, started using marijuana at around 17 years old, and it just went worse and worse from there. I started uh, experimenting with cocaine, and before I knew it, I had a pretty bad habit. I was using up all my money. I would work just to support that habit, and uh, I wouldn't listen to anyone that would ask me to stop so everything I did was just surrounded around the drugs and all that trash that is that people try to they're just lies man they're just lies that that people throw your way just to make you feel like that's what life is all about partying and staying up late and you know, and it's really not about that. Because you don't learn what, what life is about until you lose everything that, that you love. You know, uh, in 2016, I lost my twin brother and my mom. And uh, they didn't get to see me saved. They, they would always beg me and ask me to stop. And I broke their hearts as I was throwing my own life away. You know, and uh, when they were gone, I just went deeper and deeper into drugs and the alcohol and uh, I just couldn't live without it uh, in and out of jail the good Lord he kept me from going to prison that's all I can say that's all I can say you know at my rock bottom I was I was walking around Everywhere I went was just driven just to get my, my hands on alcohol and then the alcohol would lead to cocaine and whatever else came after that. Wake up the next day and just feeling, feeling horrible, feeling like dirt, you know. Uh, I was just blaming the whole world for everything I went through, always angry at everyone I came cross paths with so I just wouldn't listen so uh, one day I just I broke down and I was at a stoplight and I realized what where's my life gonna go where am I gonna go if I keep on like this what's gonna happen with me I don't know what was gonna happen but something bad was gonna happen I can tell you that's for sure something bad was gonna happen and I hope that this message reaches anyone who is going through what I was going through where you feel that there's no exit, no way out. Everywhere you go, doors are being closed. People don't even lend you no money, nothing, nothing. They know what you're going to use it for. I guess God had to put me through that fire so that I could realize that that I, without Him, I'm nothing. I'm nothing. So, here I was at this stoplight and... Uh, I just started crying. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do no more. I said, you know, I'm just gonna, I need, I need to go to this rehab. I went to a rehab, uh, a Christian rehab. And, uh, and it wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy. You know, just giving it all up. Uh, you know, because we can just hang on to that drug life forever until we either we're dead or, and it's too late 
for salvation or we're in prison, you know? And uh, some of you guys are at that crossroads where you can make a decision to change your life, you know? And I pray to the Lord that you get this message and I humbly ask Him that He gets into your life today. That you open your hearts and ask Him for forgiveness, ask Him for repentance, for He is the only way to His Father. So, uh, I gave my life to the Lord in uh, February of 2017, and uh, I never looked back. I never looked back, man. Every day, every day I ask Jesus to help me on my walk. You know, I got baptized in the Holy Spirit in March, and... Uh, you know, I give him all the glory for, for where I am. He broke the chains of addiction. He broke the chains of alcoholism. He broke the chains of depression. He broke the generational curses. You know, uh, it's never too late to turn to God. You know, and uh, I've just been getting into the book, into the Bible, and doing my studying, showing myself approved, witnessing to people who need help. Every chance I get, I just try to give them this message. Just tell them, you know what? God's listening to you. His ear is leaning towards you. His hand is stretched out to you, brother, to you, sister. You just got to reach out to Him and say, Lord, please forgive me. You are my Lord and Savior. You are the only way. You are the truth. That you will serve Him. You will be there to glorify Him in everything that you do. So, um, you know, I just want to give these words of encouragement to whoever is listening, to whoever is watching. And right now, I invite you to do this prayer, to repeat the words that I say, the words that God put in my heart for you watching this. If you truly do this prayer and you mean it from your heart to Jesus Christ, I believe you can be saved. Say, Father, I'm a sinner. I know I have done many wrongs in my life. And I believe that you have protected me through those wrongs because you, because you want something better in my life, Lord. And I'm tired of living that life of, 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 of sin. I want to turn away from, from that life. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in your powerful name, I ask you right now to come into my life. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe you died on the cross, and on the third day you resurrected in victory over death. You took all the sins from, the, from Adam to the last sin. And you have given me the promise of the Holy Spirit and the promise of everlasting life. My Lord Jesus, I ask you to be with me every day, Lord. Forgive me of my sins. I repent. I honestly repent, Lord. And I ask you to never leave my side. I ask you to, to, to bless me, to bless my home, to bless my family. To make me into the person you want me to be. Not the person that I want to be. I want to be a new creation in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. You know, I just, just want to help out. I just want to serve the Lord. 
my brothers and sisters. And, uh, you know, it's a beautiful life. It's a beautiful thing to, to give your life to the Lord and to trust in Him wholeheartedly, to put Him first in everything you do, and to seek the face of God, to honestly meditate on His Word, pray, fast, fellowship, study to show yourself approved, You know, I know that uh, I look, you know, pretty serious, but it's just because this is a subject that I've never really spoken, spoken out about. And, uh, you know, I just thank you for listening and I just want to, you know, just want to say God bless and uh, just truly change your life around like I did. I was a wolf uh, in, sh in sheep's clothing back then. I was always a nice guy, but deep down I had this hatred in my heart that I couldn't shake off. And I knew it was wrong, but I didn't know how. And uh, it just, you know, sometimes you just have to be drugged through the fire that you find out that you're really nothing. You're really nothing without God. And. Um, You know, so it's time we, we 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 reach out to one another and help each other get up. When your brother, when your sister are on the ground, show them Christ. Be there with them. Study with them. Because you know, it's not easy. It's not easy being. You know having doors slammed in your face and just asking for help, you know. But uh, we got to be there for each other, you know. So uh, thank you for listening and God bless everyone. Blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just want to say we love y'all. Love you guys. We thank, we send a shout out to all our partners out there thank that you. pray for us, that support this ministry. And we've been getting so many emails from y'all just testifying of what God is doing through this ministry with the word and the encouragement, how your lives are changing and how you're giving glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. You're not glory, you're not idolizing your ministry. Amen. You're giving glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. We've gotten so many emails and actually videos, private uh, messages sent to us that we've actually been inspired to do something new. Yes. It's called Testimony Tuesdays. Tuesdays. So every Tuesday or every other Tuesday, we want to upload your testimony. Come on. We Bring want it. you to have a platform Bring it. to tell the whole nations, Ooh. all the nations, what Jesus Christ has done in your life. Amen. Keep it within 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Don't turn it into an hour sermon. But what we want to do is have a platform where you can testify of something Jesus Christ did, some miracle, or just him setting you free from your old life. Oh, Amen. Yes. I mean, if you was an alcoholic and Christ set you free. Testify. If you was bound by drugs and you was almost at the bottom of the pit and Christ grabbed you. Testify. If you was in depression, wanted to kill yourself and the Lord stopped you in your tracks. Testify. If you Come was gangbanging, prostituting, no matter what it is, testify. Testify. Amen. Glorify God. Glorify God. So no matter what you've been through, yes. we want you to testify. 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 Yes. Okay? The Bible says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. testimony. Okay? You need to testify to what the Lord Jesus Christ has done in your life. We want to hear these amazing stories of something that happened. Maybe you were on a deathbed and they said you was going to die and doctors didn't know what to do and Jesus Christ spoke to you and rose you back from the dead. Wow. Or maybe it's something more simple, you know? We want to hear your testimony. Yeah. That's all, that's all we're saying to y'all. Okay? Amen. And Glorify what God has done in your life. Glorify what the Lord has done in your life. It brings glory to the Lord. 
Second, it puts the devil to shame. You're exposing the works of darkness. And third, God blesses you more because you're showing you're not ashamed Amen. of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hey, well said. God, and man. to add to what she said, put it like this. Your testimony is going to be like soil where seeds of faith get planted. Ooh. I'm done. I'm done. Say that again. Your, your testimony is like the soil where seeds of faith are planted. How do you know your testimony, sister, can't touch somebody all the way in Australia? Something you, you got delivered from that Jesus Christ set you free from. The other person might still be bound, but when they see your testimony, brother. Oh, man, they get encouraged. When they see your testimony, sister. They get encouraged. They're going to say, if God, if the Lord Jesus Christ can do it for that person. He could do it for me too. He could do it for me That's too. Right. My wife and I have been set free from so many things. So we got so many testimonies. Oh and the ones, the videos y'all been sending us, because we already got a vault mm. getting filled up. Mm. So mm. starting this Tuesday, we are going to start doing Testimony Tuesdays. Amen. Amen. Send them, send them, send them. That's it's right. We want a platform for you, all y'all out there. Um, just as a disclaimer though, for y'all novices out there that have that Facebook Twitter, Instagram, my state where it's all about you. If we see that your video is kind of like it's got motives and it's not really to glorify Christ, but you're trying to promote like something like your ministry, we're probably not going to upload it. So make sure you're led by the Holy Ghost. Make sure you do everything as unto, unto the, the Lord. Lord. Yes. So we love y'all. Love now what you can do is you can go to wetransfer.com. See it right there on the screen. wetransfer.com. And when you upload your video, keep your video within 10 minutes, okay? Just just so it's more simplified. And uh, you can send it to the Ghetto Gospel Team, all one word, all right, through wetransfer.com. And uh, we'll go through them. We got already some people already ahead of y'all. We got some testimonies. Wait till y'all see the testimonies that we got for y'all. Hallelujah. We do appreciate y'all that sincerely show honor and love to this ministry. Thank we you. work very hard to feed y'all. Mm. A lot of a lot of behind the scenes work to get a word to give y'all. And for you to show that respect back and give glory to God and, and thank God for us. We, we want to say thank you. Thank you. And for y'all that go even further and become a partner to the ministry and pray for us, support us, and, and be in connection with us, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And the emails we get and the videos we've been getting sent to us, y'all don't know how inspiring you are. Mm. Because you're like, mm. your your appreciation puts more wind in our sails. It sure does. It's not, we don't it need sure accolades. We're not doing this to get high fives, but it is appreciated. It is. The Bible talks about an uh, elder being worthy of double honor. Yes. You give all glory to Christ, but you can appreciate those Amen. who labor, oh, that watch over your soul, sure. that labor for you, sure. that seek God to get a word to give you, mm -hmm. a nutritious word. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank we you love you so much. We love the Jesus in you. Amen. Amen. Yes. They didn't hear us. Uh, hey, <laughs> are you going to test? Are you going to test? Are they going to testify, hun? Sure I don't they know. Will. Should we erase this? Sure they will. Are you going to testify or not? Are you going to upload a video? Don't be shy, mm -hmm. sister. Don't be shy. Don't be shy That's now. That's not of God. Uh -huh. You want to shy in the world. So whatever God did for you, sister, whatever God did for you, brother, it's time to testify. Testify. Amen. 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 Testify. What did God do in your life? Some story he... Give us a... We want to see a movie come to life. Whether it's who you used to be and what you are now, something he delivered you from, something he set you set you free from, Amen. we want to hear about it. But make sure it's to give glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 It's time to testify, y'all. Thank you, guys. Anything you want to say? Say thank you, and we love you guys. We love y'all so Amen. much. Keep praying for us, and we pray for y'all too. Keep you know praying that? for us. Amen. Amen. We appreciate those prayers. Amen. Testify. Testimony Tuesdays coming to a coming to a what? I can't say it there in there. Coming to a screen ghetto. near you, you know what I'm saying? The ghetto gospel dot com. We out. Shalom. So what you waiting for? Send us your video. Testify to the nations what Jesus Christ has done in your life. <laughs>